In this lesson, you will learn how to log maintenance on inventory items. Before we show an example of how to log maintenance on an inventory item, let's look at how to add and edit maintenance procedures. On the inventory menu, click Maintenance Procedures. The items listed on this page are the procedures that can be carried out when performing maintenance on an inventory item. You can add as many as you want. To add a new maintenance procedure, click New Maintenance Procedure in the Workbench menu. Let's create a maintenance procedure for external repairs. You can give it an optional procedure number, then select the resource type that it applies to. We will select Repair. You can give it a detailed description and also apply a default completion time and estimated cost. Since this procedure will likely be different each time, we will not include a default completion time and estimated cost. Click Add, and the new maintenance procedure will be created. Now, let's use this new maintenance procedure when logging maintenance on an inventory item. Let's say that an amplifier stopped working during a recent job. We will go to the specific serial number of the damaged amplifier, then click Log Maintenance in the Workbench menu. Let's say that the amplifier is not turning on. And then select the External Repair Procedure that we just created. You can add additional details to the log as well. And the maintenance cost will vary depending on the price of equipment and where it has to be sent for repairs. In this example, let's just say that the cost will be the price of shipping the item to the repair center. You can choose the person who reported the damage by clicking on the pencil icon and searching for their name. You can also mark the item out of commission if the damages prevent the item from being used. Since the amplifier does not work and will be sent away, we will check the out of commission box. When you click save, the out of commission record window will appear and will inherit the description that you used in the maintenance log. Now you can see a new line on the maintenance log tab for this item, as well as a new line on the out of commission tab. The item is now considered out of commission and we'll show that on the Parent Inventory Item page under the Serial Numbers tab. As soon as the repaired amplifier returns, you can go back to the Out of Commission tab and click Resolve. You would also want to create a new maintenance report saying that the item was repaired and returned. But if the amplifier could not be fixed and you want to remove it from your inventory, you can mark it as decommissioned. This is useful when you want to remove an inventory item but still keep a record of it. To mark an item as decommissioned, click Edit Serial Number Detail in the Workbench menu, then select Yes on the Decommissioned option. This will create a decommissioned report. Let's look at another example of when you would log maintenance on an inventory item. In this example, we will say that we are updating the software on a computer. Open the inventory item, click Log Maintenance in the Workbench menu. Under Summary, we will say that it is a software update, and we already have a maintenance procedure for a software update, so we will select that. In the description, we might provide details about the updates, and let's say that the updates cost us $30. We will not check the out of commission box this time because the computer is still in working order and can be sent out on a job. So far, we have logged maintenance on serialized items. Let's briefly look at how this works with non-serialized items. For non-serialized items, you will create an out-of-commission report and enter the amount of items that are affected. You can either do this on the out-of-commission tab by clicking Mark Quantities Out of Commission or in the Workbench menu. Enter the amount of items affected, the reason, the stock type, 
and the location. The total amount available has now decreased, and it shows that two of these items are out of commission. One more way that you can log damage and mark an item out of commission is from the Scan In page. Say, for example, that you are scanning in a job, and you find an item with a damage tag on it. When the item is scanned, you can simply click the Log Damage button and begin the process. Every time you log damage, mark items out of commission, or decommission an item, it creates a record and will go into a report. You can view these reports on the Reports menu. Click on the report type that you want to generate. Then you can either email or generate a PDF of the report. If you have any questions about how to log maintenance on inventory items, please email support at flexrentalsolutions.com.